this episode, we show you a beautiful free camp in the Pilbara called Delina Gorge. We also show you what's left of Padu Roadhouse after the cyclone went through and show you one of our favourite places in WA, 80 Mile Beach. Alrighty, Port Hedland, we are out of here, mate. It has been awesome. It's been great to catch up with Em. It's been a serious eye-opener. This place is mind-blowing, mate. Like we were talking about, this town is just thriving, mate. The, the export industry here is, wow. Heartbeat of Australia, man. Insane, though. Anyway, we're out of here. I'm filling up on some water. Miriam's in the shops across the road, filling up on food. And we are out. We're heading northeast at the moment. We're going to a camp just on a river, the Lena Gorge, I think it's called. And we're heading there for a few days to get some work done. And then we're heading back to the coast. And I think we're going to go to 80 miles. So I'm freaking pumped about that. Thanks, Port Hedland. You guys have rocked. Rad little town. Thanks to everyone around the town, mate. It's been, it's been epic. On we go. Go. I hate dump points. <laughs> they are gross, aren't they? Yeah, and that's twice in the last week I've emptied our pee into one of them and I do not miss them at all. Why don't you just dump it in the bush? I could have, but it was right there. So I was like, oh, anyway. <laughs> so we followed the Garmin to Dolina Gorge. We've taken the turn. There was no sign on the road. There's a gate that Chris has just walked through that looks like someone didn't see the gate and drove through. <laughs> And there looks to be um, low hanging trees and a fairly tight track. So Chris has gone for a bit of a walk to see if we can fit. We have turned up. This place is beautiful. Look at this up behind me. Look at those cliffs. Look at that. And then over this way, we've got the beautiful river for swimming. This is going to be mint. We're just going to go for a walk now and see if we can find a good spot. I'm thinking I might want to get the van onto the riverbed here. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's a good spot right here. Let's keep walking that way. See if we can get closer to the water, I reckon. Um, see if we can get something, a yeah, better spot. After much deliberation and walking around, we've decided right here is where we are going to park ourselves. I was just thinking how funny it is. Well, it's not funny really, but I'm in here refilling <laughs> the detergent and uh, Chris is outside tidying up the yard. So we're actually doing regular household chores just in a caravan. I never fill this all the way up, just in case it leaks. We've had it happen a couple of times, not lately, but that's my little tip. When you refill things, don't always fill them to full. There's Chris out there tidying things up. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. I guess no one's to blame, nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high But I
be on our separate ways as we fade into gray. But I still miss the way, the way you used to feel. Maybe we rose too fast, maybe we got too high. Delina Gorge near Marble Bar in the Pilbara for the past five days to get a whole bunch of content for a global campaign for Dometic and to do a whole bunch of other work. Today we've got about a five hour drive ahead of us, two hours back to Port Headland to top up on everything and then another three plus hours to get up to 80 mile but before we do that we've got a whole bunch of content we still need to shoot to finish off uh, what we came here to do so I better get going before he leaves me behind. Something big coming down the freeway. Can you guess what it is? Well, no, something big. I'm hoping it's mining machinery. Well, I'm guessing it will be. They've just told us to pull right over. I think it's five metres. There's a floodway, the best part of it. Kilometre past the caravan. camp there are toilets dump points and it's also a rest stop so WA is really good like that into Pardu Roadhouse and I thought I might get out and um, show you what it looks like. It's pretty sad actually. And this is where the cyclone hit here. I think it was back in oh, March or April or something. Um, it hit this roadhouse and literally demolished it which is pretty devastating. There's no roof left on it. It's um, trashed. There's rubble and garbage everywhere around here. They've obviously they've blocked it all off now. As you can see over there, they've blocked it all off, so obviously you can't get in here and go, you know, scrounging around or driving around. It's a bit of a hazard. They've removed, oh, I don't know if you can hear me with all this wind here. They've removed all the pumps, as you can see over here. All the pumps have been removed, unless they just got totally destroyed as well. Look at this, there's, a, there's an air conditioner sitting on the ground over there. It's pretty sad, hey, babe? 
Yeah. Pretty it's sad, really man. Sad. It's really? sad, but it's kind of cool to see in person. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. It's just everything's. There you go. Look at that. If you look up here, here I can see straight through. So obviously the roof got yeah totally blown off. Actually, I did see it on the news that the roof got blown off. So there you go. Not much left of that phone booth. There it is, sitting over here. As you can see here, there's just literally junk everywhere, and I'm guessing they've probably cleaned this up a little bit. So you can only imagine after the cyclone had passed over how bad this actually would have been. Cyclones are scary, mate. I've been in a bad one in Cairns, oh man, a long, long time ago. I reckon I probably would have been about 15 or 16 years old, and it was actually really frightening. We were locked in in Holloway's Beach for about three days with the flooding um, from the aftermath of the cyclone. and. It was frightening. I remember being in the bedroom at night and just the sounds, mate, were just horrific, frightening. Now, if you've ever gone through a cyclone, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your, your thoughts and your experiences of it all, because, I mean, they're frightening things to be going through. I was wandering around just having a bit of a look and I didn't go too far, because I think there's actually someone living back there. Oh, is there? Yeah, there's a door open, there's a car there. So yeah. maybe someone is working on slowly cleaning it up. Yeah, I, don't know. I was just telling the guys that I was in a cyclone a long time ago in Cairns and yeah. how frightening it was. Have you ever been in one? No. Living in South America? Earthquakes. I've been in earthquakes. Oh. It's not cyclones. Earthquakes. And they're not fun either. Yeah. Hmm. Right, let's keep going, hey? Oh, we've got to show everyone the sign out the front. Oh, the one I took photos of. Yeah. The old Liberty sign, she's not looking too healthy. There she is right there. That's what's left of the sign. Look at that, there you go. Mm, eerie, eerie feeling. Anyway, let's get going. and uh, we did ask for a site with not a lot of shade. This one did have a little bit of shade. It wasn't too bad. We were quite happy, but they've come down and said, we've got a better spot for you. So it's really hot actually, um, but we're moving as you can see, because there's a spot right down there. This is a good opportunity to give you a bit of a tour actually. There you go. This place is really nice. We haven't seen grass in a very long time lots and lots of sites powered sites unpowered sites cabins i saw a big oval where kids were playing there's toilets oh my goodness it goes all the way down there as well now there's some other spots there obviously that one's powered i don't know where we're going what's that fish cleaning area where are we going hopefully not in there we won't fit there Bit of information too, you get water, a water connection with unpowered sites, which we weren't sure about. We thought we might need to fill up, but we don't. Oh, we're backing in. Oh, we're backing in here. Let's see if he's going to wipe out this bush. What do you reckon? No, he hasn't wiped anything out yet, so. Can't be close. Well, I'm going to continue cleaning because I usually clean and unpack while he moves if we do have to move. So I'm going to get back to that. We did hear that the road coming in was really bad and really corrugated, but we thought it was fine. A little bit corrugated, definitely dusty, but nothing too bad. 